obvious answer to this question is no. The lenses I'll be talking from are the futuristic ones and the ethical ones. Should Anzi's for research? This philosopher of, of the past that advised that if humans continue to, slow, to show cruelty towards animals, a species could eventually be capable of reflecting cruelty back to humans. Aristotle and other ancient philosophers were known phys physicians. The, philo the philosophers conducted experiments on human, on human criminals in ancient Greece. The, uh, well, mutilation was illegal on these prisoners. This led to anim Aristotle um, performing vivisection on animals. This is how animal testing came to be. Animal testing is the use of disease and medications on animals instead of humans to see if the toxicity, to see and to see its its effects and toxicity on a living entity. Before the 19th century, little to no one cared about animals and about animal testing until adoption of pets came around. This sparked the anti-animal testing movement that is very pronounced today. The, end, the estimated use of, anim, of animals in the te traditional testing is over 26 million animals used per year, which is slowly but surely causing the population for specific animals to fluctuate. The amount of mammals being used per year is declining due to the fact that is being used per year is declining due to the fact that origin ownership has been introduced. Over time, the question of whether it is not whether it's ethical or not for animals to be tested, for animals to be tested on is being answered. Wherever you want to start. So, ways are at um, animal testing is unethical because that harms the gene pool. It causes stress. Um, the stress that these animals develop causes self, the animals like want to self mutilate, meaning like they want to hurt themselves, and they're treated inhumanely in the labs like. They're treated without like dignity, like being tossed around and stuff like that. And it causes harm to the environment because of the harm of the gene pool. Um, this was not the only war against animal research. In England, Queen Victoria resented research on animals. Her private secretary wrote for her in 1875, the queen has been dreadful, dreadfully shocked at the, the, detail, the details of some of these practices and is most anxious to put a stop to them. Faunas that were in the lab are also sometimes released back into the wild, causing the um, harm to their gene pool from lab tests that were conducted. This can further cause harm to the offspring uh, that are going to be born in the future. These animals that are tested in labs are genetically modified to suit the tests conducted on them. Just imagine if one of the animals escaped from the lab. It's possible that it can spread a harmful disease to humans. It can, again, harm the animal's genetics. For example, ge genetically modified mice were going to be used to test a disease such as the infamous COVID-19. Unfortunately, the scientists who were, who were to use the mice for these tests ran into a shortage of those mice. This resulted in them skipping the testing and going straight into clinical trials on humans, which is highly dangerous and unethical. Another way we can view this is through the futuristic lens. Answering the questions through this lens would also be no. Animals have been used in research for thousands of years where it originally started in Greece, 500 BC. And this resulted on humans continuing their research um, on animals. But there have been multiple steps towards into, um, technological and intellectual advancements such as the organ on a chimp. And they got uh, computer simulations. Uh, small steps have been taken forward towards these technological advance advancements and computer simulations such as like computer programs where you can like model um, types of bacteria and diseases like and how they would operate inside of um, a body because they, they can like um, simulate how it would act if, if like say like an antibody were to attach to this disease and how the immune system would react to it and stuff like that. If not for, anim for animal lab work on animals, humans would not be able to discover that cells from, from animals could be taken and be put onto a chip. Technological advancements like the cell on a chip combats the likelihood of an animal being disposed 
disposed of in a lab, which would make the gene pool stronger for um, animals. The cell on a chip comes from a human, but the human does not die from the extraction of the cells. Then the cell is put on a chip that mimics the environment it had in the original body, such as if it was a lung cell, they would take the lung cell, put it on a chip, and then like since the lungs um, inhale air and exhale air, it would be moving in and out. So then they would, they would mimic that same environment so then the cell wouldn't like die or malfunction because it's not in the same environment. And then this, would, this makes research more accurate, ethical, and efficient. The organ on a chip will be more accurate because multiple of the same cells can be tested on and this will make it more precise and accurate. Um, only 90% of the drugs on animals work, but when the drug is used on humans, it does not work because humans and animals, though they're close in genetics, sometimes humans, um, the human's uh, immune system does not react the same way as an animal's immune system would react to a disease or um, a vaccine that's been implemented. The organ on a chip would also provide accuracy by showing what is and isn't harmful on humans. And the organ on a chip isn't the only way we've jumped into the future. Like I said, uh, computer simulations are, sim are one of the, the most common ways that have been implemented um, now and is being like better built as, as we're going into the future. And if research on animals comes to a complete halt, animals can be str become strong and healthy. Although animal testing was proven to work and help combat numerous outbreaks and pandemics, ultimately, other, another alternative was made to reduce or stop animals from being tested upon. Therefore, animal testing should be avoided and companies should start making that, the switch to accurate, precise, ethical, and more efficient alternatives. Okay, thank you. Um, a couple of questions. <laughs> Um, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and why did you choose to omit it? Um, evidence that I didn't gather, or that, wait, that I did or didn't? That you gathered, but you chose not oh. to use. Um, evidence that I gathered, but I chose not to use were like, um, like the statistics, like the economics, because like, it kind of gave me an idea of how much of these animals were being used, but I didn't exactly put the amount of like money that that we're going into like animal testing and stuff like that. I just like kind of figured out how much animals were being used off the number of money that was being paid for animals. Okay. Um, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct um, on this issue? Research that I would conduct would be on how much gas these animals produce when they die, because when they when they're using a the lab, they're either um, euthanized or they're put inside a um, like a uh, restoration place or something like a, pla a rehabilitation place for them, but yeah, I would put I'll do more research on that to see how much gas they produce because when they die, they produce methane gas which can harm the environment and it's 80 times more like flammable and dangerous for the environment than like uh, normal gases in the air. Okay, thank you. All right. <clears throat>